So what is a spine? Feel that row of bumps down the middle of your back. Did you know that each one of those bumps is a separate bone called a vertebra? When you take them together, the plural is vertebrae. Now vertebrae are very special bones. They lock together and they articulate with one another. When you string lots of them together, you end up with a whole spine. All the bones have joints with the vertebrae in front of and behind them. Now when these joints work together, it allows you to, to move and, and bend. Any animals with vertebrae are called vertebrates. You're a vertebrate, your grandma's a vertebrate, dogs and alligators are vertebrates, and pliosaurs were vertebrates. Right now, I'm working on reconstructing the dorsal vertebrae, the ones directly out of the back of the Manitoba pliosaur. Before I get started, I've got to gather all of my tools together. I start with the Dremel and various bits for it. Now this is what I use for rough shaping and a little bit of fine detailing. I've got a small hand drill and some wire. On the plastic parts, I like to drill into them and use the wire as a pen to give them internal support. I've got various sculpting tools here that I like to use on my glues, my putties, and my bonding. Now these are what I use to hold all the parts together, as well as any sculpting that's necessary and filling of any gaps. Finally, I've got a sandbox here. Now the sandbox is cool because it makes it easier to visualize how a lot of bones go together. I can set them in place and it holds them there for me so I can see how many of them work all at once. I also need to gather all of my working parts together. Now at this stage of the game, I prefer to be working on plastic cast copies. That's because the originals are delicate enough that I'd rather not be handling them that much. And also, the plastic copies are a little bit easier in case I make a mistake or need to modify something. Now the first problem I run into is that after spending millions of years buried under millions of tons of rock, the bones have been smashed and squished and bent out of shape, what we call distorted. What we did was we laser scanned it and inside the computer removed those distortions so that it's more in the shape that we're looking for. We used a 3D printer to make all the parts that I needed, molded those, now I can make as many cast parts of those in the right shape as I want. When I composite in a couple of missing neural arches, I'm good to go. Each fit has to work, and all of the vertebrae have to work together. I have to make lots of little adjustments so the final product looks good on display and is still scientifically accurate. I test fit, adjust, and test fit again. When I feel the vertebrae are ready, I string them together on a steel rod and prepare for the next step. Today you've learned that spines are made up of lots of little individual bones called vertebrae. You've also seen the tools I use for the reconstruction process and how I get a lot of little bones to fit together. Take a moment to subscribe to the channel and as always feel free to come by and see us at the Dinosaur Resource Center in Woodland Park, Colorado. Until then, I'm Jacob, thanks for watching!